Okay, I just wanted to give you uh, an overview of the finished potter's wheel that I started. And you may have watched the video on making my own uh, homemade variable speed potter's wheel. This is a uh, pretty much completed. As you can see, I've put it in a frame and uh, I made a little sort of a splash pan out of a lid for a um, plastic uh, tub. And I put a little bead of um, caulk around to keep the uh, water from getting down into the underneath the wheel head so the water should be able to just uh, collect down toward this end. I'll probably tip it up a little bit on the wheel end so that the water runs this towards this side and I'll be able to clean it up easy enough. And there's my uh, motor underneath. Okay this is a view of the, uh, the underside of the, of the homemade wheel. There's the, uh, the Variac on the underside and the underside of my uh, splash pan and the, uh, the, the connector to the motor and then my cord up here and maybe some of you recognize this switch. You know, you zero in on that little honey. Recognize that anybody? That is a uh, ignition switch out of my 1958 VW Microbus and it's lockable. Turn it on, turn it off, Take the key out. Anyways, salvage. And uh, then of course, uh, handyman's friend. And that's pretty much it. The uh, speed control is under here. So I have to move this by hand uh, to control the speed as the wheel is turning. But there it is. I just found uh, a frame at the salvage yard. And it just happened to be about the right size and about the right uh, height and um, I bolted that uh, whole power unit that I described in the previous video, video just right to the edge of the frame and uh, made the uh, splash pan out of a uh, tub lid and there's the wheel head and the pinned wheel head with the uh, Allen head pins and you can see you can see that I made the uh, the wheel head out of a uh, pulley, which I screwed to the uh, plywood. And there's the um, Allen head pins, just the Allen head bolts with the uh, nut on the bottom side. So that's about it. Just wanted to give you one last uh, final look at this uh, homemade potter's wheel with the Variac or Zero Max um, gearbox on it. Put a coat of paint on it. And uh, there's the, uh, the motor, gearbox, a little knob up there is the control. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I got the old uh, Volkswagen ignition switch. Turn it on, and it runs really smooth, very level, and very strong. Okay, this is definitely going to be the last uh, shot of this homemade variable speed powders wheel made with salvaged parts show you how I put the uh, speed control in. There's the knob that's part of the uh, Variac uh, speed reducer, or I'm sorry, the Zero Max speed reducer. And uh, rather than have to reach underneath and handle the push this back and forth when the uh, when the splash pan is on here, I went ahead and put a, a C-clamp on that knob good and tight. And then I took a, uh, a, a piece of wood and I clamped that good and tight to that C-clamp and I ran that board out to the edge of the uh, powder's wheel. So from the top, you know, after the, after the splash pan's back on here, I'll just be able to reach over here and, and operate that speed control. And I'll give you a little demonstration there. So now there's I turn the wheel on, and uh, from the, sort of the top of the wheel, you can see here's the lever. I'll be able to just move it forward, and I can increase the speed of the wheel and move it back show you that from over here from up here just move it it moves the lever over moves it back pretty simple solution really and um, so that's that's going to be it then and okay this is definitely the last shot uh, of this uh, homemade variable speed powder's wheel made from salvaged parts 
and there's the wheel turned on moving at its slowest speed and this is the lever I just showed the installation of and move it forward and back okay that's definitely it now wish you all the best take care bye